Have you ever wondered what your chances are of getting the top operator tag? Well, look no further than this video, because my dumbass decided to open 300 recruitment permits in one city. I'm gonna make this video quick because there's really not a lot to say here, but here's how everything went down. For each recruitment permit, I would use it on the same slot and I would record every tag that appeared. I also didn't refresh the tags. Ever. After noting the tags down, I picked combinations that would give me the best chance at a high rarity operator. The only exception was the robot tag since it's quite rare, I would only prioritize it if it appeared without any 4 star guaranteed tags. With that, I also noted down the rarity of each operator that was obtained from the recruitment permit. Now with that out of the way, let's see some numbers. Do keep in mind that 300 permits is still quite a small sample size, so these results are not the most accurate. For rarities, I obtained 257 3 stars, 51 4 stars, 1 5 star, and 1 6 star. You can see these values converted to percentages on the screen now. Basically, it goes without saying that I didn't get any 2 stars because why would you go for it unless you wanted to max pot them? I also didn't get any 1 star robots despite prioritizing them over 3 stars, simply because of the two times they showed up, there was a tag that guaranteed a 4 star. Unlucky. Or, or is that lucky? Un unknown. Now let's talk tags. Since I opened 300 permits, I got to record down 1,500 tags. Nice. First up, class tags and position. These were the most common of the tags except for the specialist tag, since it guaranteed a 4 star. You're looking at a 6-7% chance of these tags popping up, not considering the specialist tag. Next, affixed tags. Likewise, to classes, the tags that didn't guarantee a 4 star or higher were seen more often. There's quite a sizable difference in frequency between the tags AoE or DP recovery and tags like survival, healing, and slow. The main contributing factor for this is that certain combinations can be made with the latter tags to guarantee 4 stars, such as healing plus vanguard for Murdo or survival plus sniper for Jessica. In comparison, there are no combinations with AoE or DP recovery that straight out guarantee a 4 star. Affixed tags that can guarantee 4 stars by themselves, such as fast redeploy, shift, and debuff, saw even less frequency. And tags that guarantee 5 stars didn't even show up for me. As mentioned earlier, I had two instances of the robot tag showing up. Unfortunately, they were overshadowed by guaranteed 4 star tags. Lastly for tags is qualification. The star tag was up there with one of the most frequent tags, though I never chose it. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, the senior operator and top operator tags only showed up once each. So statistically speaking, they showed up at a 0.066666 recurring, you get the idea, chance. As you probably noticed, tags that are aligned to certain rarities often show up at similar rates. Tags that don't provide a chance at 4 stars, such as the range tag, all hover around the 6-7% frequency rate. While tags that do provide a shot at 4 stars, such as the defense or survival tag, hover around the 2-3% frequency rate. On the other hand, tags that are able to guarantee a 4 star all in their lonesome showed up 0.2-1% to of the time. And finally, tags that were guaranteed 1 star, 5 star, and 6 star were seen less than 0.1% of the time. This correlation between tag frequencies and the rarities they provide helped in verifying the recruitment mechanic where the game determines the minimum rarity of recruitable operators before tags are rolled. Alright, sorry to bore you with all those numbers, here's what you're probably most interested in. How many green and yellow certificates did I get? Well, after 300 permits, I racked up 4,010 green certs and 57 yellow certs. Pretty good haul if you ask me, but not something to really write home about. That's pretty much it for this video. In the description below, I'll have the link to the Google Sheet where I recorded everything. Please don't shame me, I know I missed some guaranteed 4 star combinations. Also, if you want more information and data on this topic, head over to the game press link in the description below, where they had a way larger sample size and organized all the numbers way better than I did and even recorded rates of the different rarities from specific tags, and hopefully they'll even have the reason why I wasted 4 hours of my life when all the information is right there.